Introduction to Business Writing Writing Series Topics Covered Written Communication at Work Writing Made Easy A B C of Writing 7 Cs of Effective Writing Learning Outcomes by the end of this module, the learner will be able to apply the A, B, C of writing in their written communication, follow the seven C's of business writing to make their written communication effective. Written communication at work involves routine emails and non-routine emails. Routine emails consists of reports on topics, research, etc. MOMs that is minutes of the meetings or plans of action. Capture requirements of the client into a document which is SRS. Presentations, organizational brochures, sales manuals and other aids. Non-routine emails consists of response to requests regarding products and services via email and business letters. It includes sensitive, complex messages to various stakeholders. It's about sharing business cases or ideas via an email with colleagues and or seniors. Document work done over a six month cycle for biannual appraisals. Let us look at writing made easy with A, B, C of writing. A stands for accuracy, B for brevity and C for correctness. Accuracy involves appropriateness, attentiveness to your audience and avoidance of ambiguity. Brevity is to be brisk, bring brightness in your writing and beyond C. Correctness reflects clarity, consistency and concreteness and positive mirroring. Let us look at A that is accuracy in detail. Avoid ambiguous words and phrases in your writing. Let us look at this example. Rohit played Macbeth as well as Othello. This sentence is ambiguous and has many meanings. Meaning 1. Rohit has enacted in both the plays that is in Macbeth and in Othello. Meaning 2. He played the role of Macbeth as good as he played the role of Othello. Let us look at one more example. We dispense with accuracy. Here the word dispense is ambiguous and has many meanings. Meaning one, we distribute or give out or a lot with a lot of accuracy. Meaning two, we do away with accuracy, that is, we do not do things with accuracy. Use grammatically correct sentences to avoid ambiguity in your sentence. Let us look at the following example. As I have to go to my native place to sell my house along with my father, 
please sanction me one day's leave in this sentence wrong placing of the phrase along with my father creates ambiguity this is in reference to your post on the bulletin board asking for a coder and a tester male or female as i am both i am applying for the opening in this example the phrase as i am both can create ambiguity ambiguous words and phrases let us look at some sample examples of ambiguous sentences envoy critical after shooting in this sentence the word critical and the word shooting can create ambiguity critical could mean the envoy was critical and was hospitalized after a shootout or the envoy was critical about a shooting incident similarly shooting could mean a video or a photo shoot or a shootout the oxford united coach was held up in rush hour traffic and arrived with minutes to spare again here the words coach and minutes to spare can create ambiguity coach could refer to an individual or a bus and minutes to spare could be before or after an event she was driven from her home by her husband could mean she was driven maybe to the airport by her husband or she was sent away from her home by her husband the editor wants more humorous stories here more humorous stories could refer to either the quality or the quantity we have a brain teaser for you look at the following arrangement of words try to fit them in a manner that it gives complete meaning b brevity use the kiss concept that is keep it short and simple to make your writing brief and clear good writing has to be brief and simple and easy to understand hence avoid complex terms and phrases use words which are familiar to the reader short sentences and short paragraphs cut out needless words and needless information as they make your writing heavy and finally avoid redundancy or overlap of words let us check some examples management has become cognizant of the necessity for the elimination of undesirable vegetation surrounding the periphery of our facility now this statement is very heavy and can be made brief and simple the answer with brevity would be please remove the weeds around the building this example is taken from ezinarticles.com let us look at some sample examples which lack brevity i do not believe the equipment was shipped on time and the invoicing was not even coordinated with the ordering process to make this sentence simple and brief we could cut the sentence into two at a logical point so the brevity of this sentence would bring in i do not believe the equipment was shipped on time period the invoicing was not even coordinated with the ordering process 
Example 2. Pursuant to the rules re-examined as of this date by the administration in charge of human resources, endeavor to employ uncomplicated words in writing. A simple and brief sentence would be the Human Resources Department wants its employees to use uncomplicated words in writing. Example 3. The expenditure for the purchase of this computer was over rupees 5000. Can be reworded as this computer costs over rupees 5000. What I have done is read every one of the memos in question and pulled out all the ones that I think we should have the lawyers look at. Can be rewritten as I have identified the relevant memos for legal review. Example 5 Utilization of part-time secretarial personnel will make possible the finalization of the report within the allowable time frame. This can be rewritten as using a part-time secretary will help finalize the report within deadline. One word for many. To make your writing brief and simple, you could use one word for many. For example, one who cannot read and write can be replaced with a simple word. Let us look at some of the following examples. One who cannot read and write can be replaced with illiterate. That which cannot be read can be replaced with illegible. One who sacrifices for this country can be replaced with the word martyr and one who always looks at the bright side of things can be replaced with the word optimist. We have similar examples and we would like you to try them on your own. Now let us move on to C that is clarity and correctness. Let us take an example. The sentence give this report to Matthew. This sentence is unclear as it does not give complete information. For example, which Matthew? It can be reworded as please give this report to Matthew from the computer division CCD. However, this sentence is still incomplete as it does not mention when. Please give this report to Matthew from CCD by 5 p.m. tomorrow to be put up on the bulletin board. Now, this sentence gives complete information as all the five W's who, when, what, where and why is covered. The seven C's of effective writing. Let us look at all the seven C's of effective writing. Number one, clear. Every email should be clear and to the point. Your reader will respond quickly only if the meaning is crystal clear to them. Hence, use short sentences and simple words to make your writing clear. Concise 
Avoid overused business phrases. Use active verbs to make your sentence short, crisp and concise. Keep sentences to average length. The third C is correct. Avoid jargon, complex words and technical terms which may be confusing. Abbreviations are to be used only if the reader is familiar. Else, if the reader is not familiar to their usage, avoid them. Complete Give all the information required on a particular subject to avoid the reader coming back for additional information. Check if your writing is complete in the message and data that is given. Number 5. Courteous Use a tone which is friendly but efficient and professional. Readers want to know that there is someone at the other end who is taking notice and showing interest in their concerns. Hence, a courteous tone helps to build rapport. Conversational The best letters have a conversational tone and read as if you were talking to your reader. Use contractions like I am, can't, etc. to make your writing conversational. Credible it is extremely important to build credibility. Specific information will help build credibility and get the buy-in from your reader. Examples on clarity The following words will give us an idea about how simple words can be replaced the complex words to make your writing clear. Effect modifications due to the fact that at the present time adversely impact on effort and opportunity these heavy words can be replaced with simple ones such as make changes due to presently set back and allow. We have another set of complex words which can be replaced with simple words. So match the answers given in the right column with the words given in the left column. Recap Written communication forms an important part of communication at workplace. A, B, C principle Accuracy Avoid ambiguous words and phrases Brevity Keep it short and simple Clarity and correctness provide complete information. Seven C's of effective writing consists of clear concise, correct, complete, courteous, conversational and credible information. This brings an end to the introduction to business writing module.